So we're going to talk about now ah. five game engines that don't require coding to make games. I am sorry, members of the RPG Maker community. It's not on this list. That's not our fault. Blow up the website. <laughs> um, but yeah. these are engines that don't require you to code in order to make games. Now, that doesn't mean that the games that you make are going to be stellar, absolutely amazing games, because if you don't know how to mm -hmm. code, you're limited by yeah. the blueprint, the scripts, the whatevers. Right. <laughs> you're limited. Uh, game Maker Studio is uh, a great game one. Game Maker Studio. Mm -hmm. Actually, every single time we talk to a member of the RPG Maker community, we tell them that if they want to move on to the next engine, in the in the in the in the they want to move on to a a higher functional engine that still does what RPG Maker does. We tell them to go to Game Maker Studio. Yeah. Start there. That is a very good engine to move into from uh, RPG Maker. And yeah. I just saw someone make a comment about no Pixel Game Maker. Boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pixel Game Maker is a. It's an engine. It's, it's an, an engine. engine. It's an engine. <laughs> and Wrath ported what? Uh, ported a game from Renpy. Oh, is that that visual novel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, visual, the visual novel. novel maker. Yeah. Yeah. And the code was readable and similar. So you see, again, I, I have a lot of. I got to really give Wrath the props in this one mm -hmm. because Wrath is doing exactly what a developer that doesn't want to be a coder is supposed to do. Absolutely. So honestly, all of you out there who are watching, follow Wrath's example. Learn it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it but learn it and that way you can kind of figure out what's happening that under the hood stuff that That's Teal right. was talking yep. about. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, if you are a 2D developer and you really want to like stay in that 2D simple to use and you're ready to move beyond uh, RPG Maker, which RPG Maker is a great engine. It's a good engine. It is deceptively powerful, mm -hmm. but you want to move beyond a turn-based RPG engine to something that's not geared just towards that. Consider Game Maker Studio. However, if you're going to make a turn-based RPG, don't do it in Game Maker, do it in RPG Maker. So, Undertale. Undertale I mean, was made with Game Maker. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, huzzah. Um, I to believe it was. Yeah, it should be. Mm -hmm. Construct uh, 2. Construct 2, yeah. Never used it. Don't know anything about it. But I have seen enough videos on it to say that, yes, this is a drag-and-drop drag um, engine. Um, yeah, it, I've seen a lot of retro games, of, the retro looking style okay. games, they've come out and they're using Construct 2 because that's a perfect engine okay. to, to do that, to make that, that beautiful retro game. Yes, yes. Okay, I got it, I got it, mm -hmm. I got it. Okay, maybe I need to dive a little bit deeper into Construct 2 myself. I've heard it brought up repeatedly when compared to BuildBox, which BuildBox of course had some really big issues with the way they were doing licensing. Apparently yeah. they've gotten their crap together and they're not assholes anymore. But, um, okay, and KV is saying that G-Develop is similar to Construct. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm very, I'm familiar with Construct, too. I don't know much about BuildBox at all. Um, they're, these are all like uh, competitors. Just, just a lot of, I've, the folks that I've talked to about Construct, too, they've always told me, stay away from BuildBox, stay away from BuildBox. Right, and probably that's, because that's of... That's why they went with Construct, too. Probably because BuildBox had some severe licensing issues. That's and probably the reason. Massive hit to their person, to their thing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Stencil, I've never messed with Stencil. I know literally nothing about Stencil. I don't know anything about Stencil. So in here, I'm said I'm going to plug RPG Maker. <laughs> yeah, RPG Maker. Because <laughs> not only have Teal and I gotten a start there in the community, but mm -hmm. um, as people say, it is fun to see what it can do. It is a deceptively powerful engine, especially MZ, the latest release. Yes. Super stable, super powerful. There's a lot you can do with it. Yes, it is geared specifically for turn-based RPGs, but you can do a lot with it. Um, Bacon says they don't think Construct, Construct 2 is supported anymore. Oh, wow. Um, it's about to be Construct 3. Oh, Construct 3. 3. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's right. Okay, so this I is a yeah, slightly antiquated right. article. Thank you yeah. for bringing that up. Uh, I think so. Con Construct is still around. I think it's it's 3. No, that's what they're saying. Okay, yeah. so the downloads will continue. Recommend. Okay, so it is Construct 3 now. Good to know. Thank you for that. And then the last one on here, unsurprisingly, is our engine of choice. Unreal. Uh, I almost feel like I'm plugging Unreal, honestly. We, we keep should, plugging Unreal. Oh, we, my God. We should totally get, like, a sponsorship by Epic Game <laughs> for the Unreal engine. Um, but, yes, um, this, is a, this is a 3D engine that you actually don't need to know programming at all. No, you don't. It's but blueprints. You're going to learn their blueprints. 
but you still need to know something about yes. scripting and coding yes to work with the unreal blueprints you need to at least understand, understand how a c little bit about c plus plus how does it work yeah okay yeah I, i've done a shallow dive into c plus <laughs> plus so um, <laughs> but she did a very exhaustive dive into blueprints and i'm proud of her I she did. understands how programming works now <laughs> yeah um yeah. but it's a it's a it's a visual scripting language basically yeah. and yes we do love us unreal um and i got to give unity a shout out as well because unity is using a flow chart system yeah, they are. flow charts that, are also really good that mm -hmm. that is it's not it's not, I don't think, competitive to blueprints, but it's becoming comparable. So the whole thing They're is this. Up. You're never going to be a codeless developer. I really feel like we were kind of misleading with the title of this particular topic. You're never going to be a codeless developer, but you can be a developer that doesn't have to code themselves. There you go. That's kind of where we're going with this. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> to kind of sum it all up. If you as a developer want to make games, but you don't want to get down and actually code, that's fine learn the basics of how programming works learn scripting languages at least one doesn't have to be the syntax just the way that they function mm -hmm. so that when you get into the nuts and bolts of your engine making your video game you'll know what the hell's going on see i understand the logic behind c plus plus um but all the syntax and stuff kind of <laughs> goes over my head right and I mean, but i do thing. understand all the logic behind it yeah yes code less as in less code that's a I very like good that. way that's of putting good one, it Rath. Rath. yeah 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 mm -hmm. if, if you as a developer are trying to code to trying to create a game without any kind of coding at all you're going to be highly limited by what the engine allows you to do if you are a developer who is learning the basics of coding's logic mm -hmm. without actually coding then you're you're going to do a lot better you're going to do a lot better you're going to do a lot better. yeah